This 3 minutes video is the opportunity to give you a brief overview of ANOVA. ANOVA is a method of analysis that allows us to study the dependence of a continuous quantitative variable on one or two qualitative variables. The qualitative variables involved are called factors. And we'll look at the main effects of these factors as well as the effect of their interaction on the quantitative variable studied. This is referred to as either a one-way ANOVA or a two-way ANOVA. The analysis is bivariate when only one factor is considered while it is multivariate when two factors are considered. The quantitative variable is called the dependent variable and is denoted by dV. The factors are the independent variables, denoted by IV. Let's look at the example of sports results depending on three different resting periods prior to the test. The three categories are A, less than 6 hours, B, between 6 and 8 hours, and C, more than 8 hours. The resting time factor, which is a qualitative variable, could explain sports results when the quantitative dependent variable is evaluated in terms of the number of points, or the time taken to perform the test. We are dealing here with a one-way ANOVA, analyzing the dependence of the quantitative sports results variable on the qualitative resting time factor. We want to know if the studied dependence is significant for the considered factor or not. Without explaining in detail the underlying theory of ANOVA, we need to do a statistical test in order to evaluate whether the mean of the quantitative variable studied is homogeneous or not, depending on the modalities A, B, or C of the qualitative variable for which this mean has been calculated. What we'd like to show is whether one or two qualitative variables affect the quantitative variable. The aim is thus to reject the null hypothesis of equality of all the means by analyzing the variance. The hypothesis test performed is a Fisher F test. For the more curious among you, this allows us to compare the intersample variance with the intrasample variance. The ratio of these two variances would have to deviate quite a lot from one for the null hypothesis to be rejected. Yes, you've got it. We always try to explain the cause of the diversity of the information collected by the analysis of its variance.